Hey guys, in this video I'd like to take a look at OpenSUSE 12.1 um, which I have installed inside of a VirtualBox machine. Um, the virtual machine has access to an i5, um, it has 2GB of RAM and 3D acceleration enabled. Um, so now let's boot into OpenSUSE 12.1. Um, I quite like how um, the gecko's eyes move um, whilst it is loading. Um, you know, it's pretty neat. Um, and I am now going to be logged in automatically since I have automatic login enabled. If it were disabled, I would obviously be presented with the login screen. quite like um, you know the startup sound it's pretty nice um, let's get stuck into it let's take a look at the um, taskbar at the bottom here first so we have the launch menu which I will take a look at in a second um, we have the activity manager um, there are a few different views the desktop view is the default it sort of has a widget here with the desktop folder uh, we have the desktop icons um, view which I know a few people would prefer uh, we have search and launch. I quite like um, search and launch. I find it to be, you know, pretty functional. I probably wouldn't use it full time though. Uh, and what other views do we have here? So I, uh, we have two desktop icon, two desktop icon views. Do we? They look pretty much the same. And we have photos activity. Um, I'm just going to leave it on um, the default desktop with the widget with the desktop folder. Uh, we have multiple desktops. We have two here by default. I imagine that you can easily change that to, you know, four. We have um, the Dolphin File Manager, which I quite like. It's pretty functional. And as you can see, the windows are transparent when you drag them around, which is pretty nice. Um, so we have the Dolphin File Manager. Um, I'm currently, currently inside of my home folder. We have documents, downloads, music, pictures, the public folder, videos, and a few other different folders. Uh, and we also have Firefox, which I'll take a look at in a second. We have um, the notification area. I currently have no notifications. Um, Amarok must have opened at startup. Uh, we have Clipper, um, the clipboard tool. You know, we have um, you know the volume controls here. Um, and we have a few other things here like device notifier and Nepomuk file indexing. We have the clock and if you click on it we have the calendar. Um, I personally prefer the GNOME calendar a bit more. And I imagine along the side here we would have, you know, all of the um, different events. Yep. And, you know, it's obviously got a few um, different events um, preloaded. And we can change the desktop widgets and add panels at the top here and down in the bottom right hand corner here. Now let's take a look at the um, KDE menu. Uh, so we have all of our favourites here, our applications which I'll take a look at in a second. Um, under computer we have Yast administrator settings which you need to enter your password into access. Um, I quite like how all of the administrator settings are um, set out in Yast. Uh, and what else do we have under computer? You can obviously install and remove software. We have um, system information, which is basically a bit of a web page that gets opened up inside of Conqueror. Uh, so, you know, all of your disk information, OS information, display information, battery information if you're on a laptop, CPU and memory information, and all of the common folders. And, you know, you can run commands and we have a few different places under the places section here. We have our recently used applications and documents. And we have a few different options here for, you know, shutting down, restarting, logging out, switching users, locking the computer, etc. So now let's take a look at all of the um, applications installed by default. Uh, so under games, we have board games, puzzle games, and we have K-Patience, which is a card game. So under board game, um, we have K-Majong and we have um, K-Reversi. Uh, and under puzzle games, we have uh, K-Minds and K-Sudoku. Um, I believe these are all generic names too. So for example, under um, graphics, we have image editor, which is the generic name. And underneath, you can obviously see that it's GIMP. 
So we have GIMP for image editing, we have LibreOffice Draw as the drawing program, and Grenview as the image viewer. Um, for uh, under internet programs, under chat, we have Chococ, the KDE microblogging client, and Conversation, the IRC client. Under web browsers, we have Mozilla Firefox. And let's take a quick look at it and see what version it is. Uh, okay, so we have version 7.0.1. Um, I haven't used um, Mozilla Firefox in quite some time. I personally use Google um, Chrome and Chromium now. Um, it's a bit hard to tell, um, you know, what changes have been made in all of the um, recent, you know, versions of the browser since, you know, there haven't been any major changes between 5, 6 or 7 really. Um, and what else do we have on the internet here? We have Conqueror, which I quite like. It's both a file manager and a web browser, so you can, you know, um, you know, you can navigate your local files and you can also view websites, etc. Uh, back to applications, internet, we have Kmail as um, the email client, we have Ktorrent as the BitTorrent client, we have Aggregator um, for the feed reader, uh, and what else do we have, is that everything under internet, yes it is, um, under multimedia audio player, we have Amarok as the um, default audio player, which is probably already running. Um, I don't mind Amarok, I personally prefer Banshee a bit more. I like Amarok, you know, once I've mucked around with it a bit. I don't like how it looks by default, though you can move everything around a bit and make it look how you want it to look. And it's just telling me that, that it's going to the tray, it's not closing. Uh, and we also have um, the Caffeine Media Player. Uh, it's just asking me if I want to install some codecs. Um, I quite like Caffeine for um, the digital TV capabilities. If you have a TV tuner, then you can plug it in, install the codecs, and, you know, you can basically be watching TV, you know, straight out of the box. So I quite like um, Caffeine. Uh, and what else do we have here? So they are the audio players. We have K3B for burning CDs and DVDs. KS CD is the CD player, not that you really need it with Amarok. We have KMix um, for volume control. Um, under Office, we have K Address Book, K Organizer. We have LibreOffice Space, we have LibreOffice Draw, uh, we have um, Contact, Personal Information Manager, Contact. Um, this is a program that I quite like, um, that is included with OpenSUSE. Um, we have the Summer Review, you can you know read all of your emails, see your contacts, um, see your calendar, to-do list, RSS feeds, journal, pop-up notes. There's also a Time Tracker. It's a very functional program. You know, you could use it for business use, it's pretty nice. Um, and what else do we have here? We have LibreOffice, which is obviously an open source, free version of Microsoft Office. Um, you know, they aren't 100% compatible with one another, though you can't complain too much um, when it's um, free. Um, so, you know, there was obviously OpenOffice before, LibreOffice now, it's been in the last um, few versions, I believe. Uh, so you can, you know, create a text document, which is basically a Word document. We have the drawing. Uh, you can create a spreadsheet, which is the Excel equivalent. You can create a database, which is the Microsoft Access equivalent in a presentation, which is the Microsoft um, PowerPoint equivalent. Um, and what else do we have under Office? Uh, we basically have individual links to all of um, the programs. So we have LibreOffice Calc, LibreOffice Impress. LibreOffice Writer, we have the Ocular um, Document Viewer, and another link to the um, Personal Information Manager. Um, under System, all of the um, applications under System and Utilities are pretty much the same in all of the different KDE Linux distributions, so I won't go through all of them. Uh, find Files slash Folders and Configure the Desktop, we have a few different options here. You know, it's highly customizable. Um, I'm not sure if I have forgotten anything. Um, I probably have. Uh, the, whoops, what's going on there? Took a little while to open. But yeah, if you have any questions, then feel free to ask me. I highly recommend um, downloading and installing OpenSUSE 12.1. It is um, by far my favourite KDE um, distribution. It's easily one of the better KDE um, distributions. Um, so that's it for this video, and thanks for watching.